Is it possible to beat FNAF 6 without using the vents? Well, it's already been done. Is it possible to beat FNAF 6 without equipment? Oh. Is it possible to beat FNAF 6 without vents and without equipment to help you? You heard me right. In this video, we're attempting the hardest FNAF 6 challenge never done before. Beating FNAF 6 without looking in the left or the right office vent without using any equipment the game gives us. If you guys know anything about this game, you would immediately think this was impossible. But what if I told you it wasn't? So FNAF 6 has three pretty basic mechanics. Look in the vents to send the animatronics away. Use your equipment to keep track of them and make their night a little easier. And three, shut the freak up. They can hear every move in the office. This is really a big problem because Apparently this is the 1800s and the fan sounds like a flipping tornado. Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Bro, how the heck is my risk three? I already, I, I just started this game. Bro, I'm gonna have to buy that stupid sanitary station. I gotta buy some of the upgrades. No, absolutely no. So I began this challenge by just simply playing the mini game 10 times in hopes to rack up some money so that I could buy the upgrades for when we got to the actual horror part of this game in the challenge part. We also made sure we didn't buy any of the advertisements. During the night shifts, they make a lot of noise, causing animatronics to actually come in faster and fill us faster. If we're gonna do this challenge with no vents, then we cannot have that happening. And after that business was done, we just simply hit finished and moved on to the actual challenge segment. Easiest night, there is no character in the vent. So right now it doesn't matter, there's nobody here. But in the future nights, we are not allowed to do this. We are not allowed to do this. We have to stare directly at this. We can also press a Z and X to turn off our fan and our computer, both of which make money. I mean, make money, make noise. We have motion here, which tells us where things are. Audio, which lets us lure things around like this. And vents, which this helps reduce the AC. And all of these are banned. All of these are banned. If we did motion right now, there's nobody here, guys. So this doesn't matter right now. But we will not be allowed to use these at all. Whoa, whoa, guys. Let's pause it right there. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was very ambitious. Um... We're gonna see how that worked out for me though. I'm not going to guys, it's already hard enough with none of these equipment and no vents. So the most important thing right now is uh, we're gonna do the printer because the printer is loud as crap. You guys get the point, you know? I think the best thing that we're gonna have to do for this chat, you know, is advertising. So we're gonna have to do these first is my thing. And then this is gonna be so hard guys. You guys see how long this takes? Uh, no, night one is the easiest, but oh uh, guys, this is gonna be so difficult. Yep, at this point, FNAF challenges should be classified as an act of self-harm. Like someone needs to look into this. People who do this are not mentally okay, mentally able, checked in every other week. Like they need, they need some doctors or something. It's not personal. Ah, I'm gonna kill myself. Wow. I'm going to kill myself, and it's your fault. That's an overreaction. I don't know what the strat is here. I don't know if the strat is patience or as fast as possible. Yep, you guys heard that right. I don't know what the strat is. I have no clue what strat to follow. I barely know how the AI works, and I'm attempting to beat this challenge by doing nothing. Yeah. Okay, why do I hate myself? I promise you won't be celebrating in about five minutes. I won pretty easy. We do have to salvage. So guys, pretty much I could theoretically, I could just throw these guys all back out. So guys, of course I could throw it back in the alley. If I throw all of them back in the alley, I believe one, we get a special ending. And two, well, nothing can ever come and attack us from the vents. So I could do that. And then technically this mode is 100% possible. There will never be anything in the vents to kill us. We will be good. If we, we could do that, but I know that's not what you guys want to see. How the course is. I know, I know you guys want me to salvage all of them so in this video we're going to survive without looking at vents without equipment and salvaging every animatronic if i fail to salvage it'll still be in the vent so it doesn't really matter but i do i would like that 500 buckaroos keys we're gonna proceed with the salvage uh, i really didn't want to do that to be honest i'm just making it harder for myself i have no clue if this mode is possible at all like i'm doubting it honestly here's where the struggle starts guys as i cut out the salvage nothing interesting really happened that's not why you guys are here when we move straight on to night two where we now officially have our first animatronic on it. All I want to say here is I didn't talk much because I was fully concentrated. We didn't know where bro was. We couldn't detect him. We couldn't hear him. So I just began rushing through my tasks because that was the only possible way I knew that I could think I could possibly beat this. Uh, we actually got surprisingly kind of close. <laughs> we actually got surprisingly kind of close, guys. I can't even lie. This run, all I did was fumble every single control uh, I possibly could. I might as well just die. Like, what am I even? I'm doing nothing. I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing nothing. I'm doing. Like, I'm just fumbling. All I've done is fumble. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
I fumbled this entire. <laughs> I'm so dead. I fumbled everything. Do you guys hear him? I hear him. I'm gonna let the heat kill me. You won't get. You won't get. You won't get. You won't get the satisfaction. You won't get the satisfaction. Yeah, I passed out. You won't get it. You won't get it. Oh wow, he came instantly. This is gonna be a hard. Uh, what's your sole purpose in this army? To do whatever you tell my drill sergeant? God damn it, Gump! You're a goddamn genius. That's the most outstanding answer I've ever heard. You must have a goddamn IQ of 160. You are the gifted private Gump. I can just take my headphones off because honestly, it doesn't matter. Cause like, what do you do when you hear nothing? Nothing. I don't know where they are. Ah, look, by the time they get in your vet, it's too late. And I can't look at them. I mean, I start on the wrong thing, but that's fine. You know, we'll just keep doing this. Like, bro's not going to be screaming in my ear, jump scaring me. I'm just telling you that. I don't want to hear nothing from this dude. This fan is the problem. This fan is the biggest op ever. This fan has, like, the most, like, I'm definitely dead. You see that life flicker in? I, I feel like he bro about to pull up. Bro about to pull up. Bro about to pull up and say, what the freak you talking about? Bro about to... Okay, yeah, this is where I'm, this is where I'm dead. This is where I'm dead. Guys, in case you didn't know, I just wanted to clarify. If you look up at the motion audio and vent things, the way you tell if those are active is they start flickering. So you can tell that I'm not using them because they are not flickering or flashing. <laughs> that's all I have to do is take off my headphones and just run it, bro. I don't know. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, see, that that's just luck. That's just luck. Now, this is definitely going to be a whole lot harder, guys. This night three, I don't know if night three is doable. Night three cannot possibly do it two. But you know what? I know y'all don't want me to just throw it back. So we're going to proceed. We're going to proceed because I know that's what y'all want. Y'all want to see me suffer. Proceed. A thousand dollars. We don't even need it, really. Dude. Audio prompt in three, dude's a joke. Two, this dude's a joke to me. Yeah, I'm seeing you. You're seeing me. I don't even really care if you're scared me, to be honest, because I don't need the money. What am I going to do with it? And it? It became personal with me. You look at this. We don't need this. I don't want your ad. Night one, we have zero deaths because it would be really hard to die where there's no animatronics. Night two, surprisingly, we only have three deaths, which is pretty good, you know, considering the fact that you sort of have to look at the vent. Yeah, no, we're about to have hundreds, bro. No, like literally, guys, you don't understand. Like, we're, we're about to be sitting here like the like, next four or five hours just trying to get lucky. Like, there is no, this is luck. You have to get lucky. Guys, not gonna lie, I didn't go into this night being very hopeful, you know. The likelihood of the ammo trucks not moving at all is 1 in 15 billion. I did not go into this having much hope that we were gonna beat this without equipment and without looking in the vents, but you know, we were still gonna give it a good try. This night was the hardest night I think I've ever done. We should have really done the maintenance first. Like, I don't know what we're doing on cleaning the ovens. How do we clean ovens with a computer? I've been saying this for the last 20 years, bro. I've messed up literally everything. We're done, guys. We're cooked. We're baked potato style. Dusted. 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 There's no point. I'm just gonna let the heat kill me because we're not gonna win this one. And I can't give spring, spring napkin, spring freaking trash the opportunity, okay? The opportunity. Guys, not gonna lie, we didn't make it very far in like any of the runs. And it especially didn't help when I did stupid things like this. Keep doing that, bro. Like, why would they, why would the game let you do that? Why would the game let you do that? We've sold. We've sold again for no reason. We've sold. Bro, this AC is the biggest op ever like this is the biggest like th like it wants me to die it knows it knows it says no you can't complete this bro you can't complete this bro you can't complete this bro turn me on
We were closer that time. I think I feel like it's possible, but it's it's hard, bro. Like you guys see, like we get we get decently far. We can definitely go finish the first two. Springtime hasn't even scared me. I don't, I don't know. I always come back. Come back. Guys, I didn't even mean to look at bro right there, so I pretty much already failed. Because I accidentally looked at bro. It doesn't matter though, because bro only leaves after like four seconds, but I'm gonna die anyway. I'm just gonna die. I'm just gonna die because I don't need these people in the comments being like, technically, you looked at the end of it. Okay, we're restarting. Guys, here you might be like, whoa, 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 you looked at the vents. That is because something called the Monotony Timer. Pretty much this game installed something for this exact challenge, guys. So on Wednesday, the animatronics move every four seconds. If you don't look at the vent, though, they'll move every three seconds after 30 seconds. And after 45 seconds of not looking at the vent, they are moving every one second. So my strat was to look at the vent when I knew the animatronics were not there, when I couldn't hear them. That way, the monotony timer would reset, so that way they'd stick to moving every four seconds. Because them moving every one second before when I was trying this challenge made it feel impossible. There was no way to do it with the monotony timer installed so i'm looking at the vents just when they're not there to reset that timer i also forgot to mention they have a one-third chance in moving when they get a movement opportunity so theoretically if we were to get the luckiest possible outcome they would move once every 12 seconds the night is around 120 seconds of tasks and how long they take so theoretically each animatronic is going to move around 10 times per night which is about 20 different movements per the animatronics this night which is still very difficult and that's if we get lucky enough that they they only move during those movement opportunities let's go let's go Yo. guys sorry sorry that was like my 30th attempt bro <laughs> Yo, no way! You is an no way, bro! We are no way! I did not. I was losing. I was losing hope, big time, guys. I was losing hope, bro. You can throw it back into the alley where you found it. Oh, wow, bro! I'm so, bro. I do not know where they were. I do not know what's going on. That was the lucky that we were looking for. Oh my goodness! Proceeding with baby, bro. Oh uh, no. I feel like she's always laughing in my face. Oh my, you see what I mean? Get shocked, bro. Get shocked, bro. Instantly mad aggressive for what? I don't care if I lose the money, so. Yeah, just... Document results. Okay. Begin audio prompt I'm pretty sure three, for her to be fully aggressive, you have to see her one. eye and her teeth. I think that's how this works. Baby, I think that's how you work. Don't play in my face. <laughs> okay okay baby okay gonna shock you again what the bro went immediate no okay just just baby honestly honestly baby bro quit your staring at me bro well done Freaking annoying me, baby. Yeah, now you're gonna do your stupid voice you on. Don't really know who your employer is, dude. How about you shut up and get in the van, baby? Nope. 
Guys, watch. I'm about to be a god at this game. Yeah, basket. 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 Bro, guys, I was eating right there. I don't understand what y'all saying, bro. Y'all think I can make NBA, bro? WNBA, whatever, bro? I'm cooking at basketball, bro. Put me against LeBron. Guys, not gonna lie. I just spent the next 20 minutes procrastinating by throwing hoops in a basket because I was about to do the inevitable night four, bro, and I was not looking forward to it. I was scared. I didn't want to attempt this. Okay, against Caitlyn. Oops. Clark herself, bro. I destroy her in the ring. Look at these hoops, bro. <sighs> Guys, I gave Knight 4 several, several attempts, but with the animatronics now moving every three seconds and there being three of them in the vents and them all being able to teleport once a night, I did not think this was possible without using any of the equipment and without looking in the vents. They simply moved too fast, they made too much noise, and it just wasn't a good solution or option. So, the real question you guys clicked on this video for was, is FNAF 6 possible? without equipment and without looking in the vents. Well, yes and no. FNAF 6 is possible without equipment and looking in the vents for the first three nights. If you were to play the game and not salvage any more animatronics like I did, it would 100% be doable without looking in the vents and without equipment. So yes, it is possible. With salvaging every animatronic, I just simply can't believe it is. You have to get so lucky that they don't come and attack you or hear you. That's just not a good solution. Um, if you guys want to come back and watch me beat it without just the vents or without just the equipment, y'all do make sure you like and subscribe on this video. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. It means a lot. I spent a lot of time trying to make this happen. I'm sorry, I just couldn't do it. Fourth night is just extremely difficult without using any of the mechanics the game gives you. I'm surprised we even did the third night, to be honest. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Like, subscribe, and peace.